Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today is a really exciting one. I'm back in Manchester, I'm on the Wimslow Road and I'm at this new establishment called Masurret Street Food. Let's go and check it out. We're in Masaritz on Wimsdor Road and what a beautiful place they created. I've got to say it's one of the probably the upmarket ones that they have on Wimsdor Road. Just take a look at it, absolutely brilliant. We're going to start a little bit different today. We're going to give you a little walking tour because we've managed to come here just on bang on opening time. So it's not too busy. Let's go and have a look at the restaurant. Come on. So over here they've got a beautiful area where they prepare all the milkshakes, they prepare all the drinks and all the mocktails for you. Uh, they have a large selection of drinks over here. Um, it's a double sort of size restaurant, so it's on the corner. The thing I've got to mention today, outside it's nearly 32 degrees. And uh, this is one of the only ones that I know that is a fully air conditioned restaurant. And look guys, absolutely heaven. I'm standing underneath the air conditioning. Fantastic guys. Right guys, let's continue with the tour of the restaurant. Beautiful, let's have a look at it. So the restaurant is nice and wide. Um, I like the, the color scheme they have over here. They have the nice grays, blues, um, very comfortable seating as you can see. Well, let's walk around, let's see what else there is. So they have this area where they serve all the drinks. There's a big selection of drinks over here. All the fruits there for all those smoothies and mocktails that they do. And right at the end guys, my eye is on this one. These are the sweeties. So make sure when you pay, make sure they give you a few sweeties over there. So nice complimentary sweeties over there. Okay, so I like to have nice uh, theme going on. Uh, the lighting's nice. They have a bit of vintage lighting. Um, they have these sofa, sofa sort of areas. I don't know what, what are they called? You know, they're like comfy, comfy sofas, you know, on, on edges. I do like that. So come around over here. Let's have a look. So I'm set up today just on the corner over there, so you might be able to see my equipment in the background over there. But this is the other side, so essentially it's like two or three shops wide, I would say, you know, and very you know, spacious. It's a nice area where you can come with your family, you can come with your friends, a nice place to chill, you know, and I've got to say the air conditioning, I can't emphasize enough. Beautiful, it's nice ice cold. So on a day like today, absolutely fantastic. So very, very spacious. I mean, big restaurant they have over here. Um, let me take you around the back. Now this is the bit where we normally don't show you. Okay, so this is a little secret area at the back. This is actually where the toilets are. Now this is something that we don't normally film, but I just want, I really had to show you uh, how fantastic it is. 
Um, I'm only showing you because I know the restaurant's empty at the moment, there's nobody in here. But just take a look how beautiful the decor is. So they have a nice dark theme going on, you know, very nicely decorated and everything. We won't go in any further, yeah, just in case anybody is in there. Uh, but, you know, I've got to say really nice. So it's not something I normally film, but, but you know, I thought I'd just a little bit show you that. There are nice Instagram areas where you can take your pictures, maybe the thumbnail, yeah. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. Um, first impressions are really, really good, you know? And the big thing is we're gonna check now is the food. So let's go guys, we go back to our table and let's go and see what the food's like. Right, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the restaurant. So the restaurant, I've got to say, it is a heaven sent in here. We are sitting in a fully air conditioned restaurant. I cannot emphasize enough. We're in the middle of summer and it is extremely hot today. So today is over 32 degrees in Manchester and Winslow Road is sizzling hot guys. And I'm loving it over here. It is beautiful, it's cool and I'm enjoying it. So what a fantastic experience I'm having so far. I feel like, you know, I might be a little bit underdressed for here because it's like, it's, it's a nice swanky place this is, you know. Uh, the decor they have, um, they've got waiters dressed up in all black sort of themed, uh, you know, uniforms they have going on. Um, and I'm liking it so far. So I'm looking for, you know, uh, what comes out next. I'm expecting good things, so keep watching. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the menu. Um, it looks really interesting. I like the, the way they've made the menu. Um, it's very sort of upmarket, good quality. You know, the menu is, this feels like a nice shiny touch to it. Um, it's these small things, you know, which, uh, which make it a really, really good experience for you. So let me talk a little bit about it. So they have the starters, so they have the typical starters um, when you come to this type of restaurant. So you've got chicken tikka, seek kebabs, uh, lamb chops, masala fish, um, smosas, all that kind of thing going on. Then you have the Indian Punjabi street food, which is what this place is all about. They do all the street food. So what they have over here, they have um, the lamb and chicken handy they have, which uh, it comes in like a metal sort of pot. Um, and it's supposed to be sort of really tasty in terms of the, the way it's presented and served in there. They also have the lamb and chicken karai. And we're gonna be trying both of those today just to see what the differences are in those things. They go on then to a, a selection of um, Punjabi street food that they have. Have. Um, they have the, uh, a selection of vegetable dishes as well, which is great to see. So people who are not necessarily meat eaters do have a good range of options over here as well. Um, the other thing I want to see over here is the stir fry noodles. So we've ordered a mixed stir fry noodles today. Um, so on Broomsdale Road, I have fried in one other place, which I don't want to name on camera here because the video might be coming out soon. But um, theirs was really good. I want to try how it is over here as well. If it's anything like the picture, I'm in for some sort of a good sort of surprise over there. Um, the other thing we're going to try is the Manchurian, uh, which is good. Uh, you know, they have the chicken and beef selection over here. Um, and my favorite section, the steaks. So when I came in, I came in here a while ago, I didn't vlog, uh, but I tried one of their steaks. I tried the sirloin steak at the time, and it was absolutely fantastic. So today what we're going in for, we're going in for the T-bone steak. Let's see how the T-bone is. Unfortunately, they ran out last time I came in, so I'm hoping today, you know, they have it in stock and they're gonna order me this nice, juicy T-bone steak. So that's what we're going in for today. As well as that, we've got the burgers. So there's a selection, there's not a big selection of burgers, but I think they've got the best range there. So they've got, uh, the Boston Burger, which is what we've ordered today, which is a beef patty with mushroom sauce, um, comes with coleslaw and some french fries. Um, they do also have a chicken peri-peri burger, they have the classic fillet, uh, chicken fillet burger, and then they have the M Special Burger, which basically is a combination of those burgers together. So you have the beef and chicken together. So that's something I'm looking for as well. Uh, as well as that, they have the a little bit of Italian going on as well. So they have some spaghetti bolognese, they've got the lasagna and pasta, um, with chicken and vegetable variations. They have a little bit of selection of salads. So they have um, the traditional uh, cut salad, they've got a Greek salad, and they've got a chicken grilled salad. I think, you know, the menu, I've got to say, is they haven't, they haven't overpowered the menu with too many options. Um, they have got options there, don't get me wrong, but they have got the right amount, so you don't, you don't spend hours going through, okay, what kind of steak do I want, or what kind of, you know, um, salad do I want? They've got the right options there, the ones that you need. So they've got chicken, they've got Greek, they've got the, the traditional salad. And, and it's like that throughout. So it's the same with the steaks, same with the burgers. Um, and then we go on to the sizzling hot stuff. So lamb chops, 
I'm keen on trying the lamb chops today. So we've got a portion of lamb chops. We've gone for the mixed grill. So to give us an idea of all of the sort of starters that they have, that comes with some lamb chops, chicken tikka, seek kebab, reshmi kebab. It comes with some chicken uh, wings and it comes with a side of either plow rice or naan. So we had a combination of two today so to see how that goes. And I'm looking forward to that one that should come on a sizzling plate. So yeah, lots of good stuff, lots of exciting things coming up here. The other thing they have is a biryani. So we're gonna try the biryani, see what the biryani is like. Now, I mean, my wife makes excellent biryani. I'm, I'm, I'm keen to see whether they can top that. They probably can't, you know, but, but from, for, for eating out, I'm expecting it to be ex excellent. So let's try that one as well. Then they have a selection of mocktails. So they, they have uh, the original meat or ma mango delight, strawberry daiquiri, um, and going on to blue lagoon and, and uh, a couple of more they have over there. So the ones that we're gonna try today is a mango delight and the strawberry daiquiri, which they tell me is the best two sellers selling um, mocktails. So we're gonna try those as well. The food has arrived. The aroma, I wish you had, you know, smell vision because the aroma here at the moment is absolutely amazing. As soon as the mixed grill has come along, uh, you know, with the, with the noodles, I can smell all of that fantastic flavors and everything coming in straight away. Have a look at this, guys. The food has arrived, I'm really excited. There's lots of good food over here and I'm excited. First impressions, presentation, excellent. Um, I've got to start with the first thing I'm actually gonna start it with is the quality of the water. Yes guys, the quality of the water. The, the water they do here is actually Scottish water um, and it's a proper glass bottle. So I'm pleased to see that because I'm really thirsty coming into the into Wimsalow Road today. It's very, very warm over here. Um, the, it's scorching outside, but I cannot emphasize enough the beautiful you know, air conditioning uh, restaurant that they have over here is absolutely heaven. So full marks for that one. I'm trying the popper Duns, absolutely brilliant. So this is something I remember as a kid, you know, I used to try this. Cause I used to live up north, so people who don't know, um, I used to live up north um, in Manchester actually, uh, when I was a kid. And uh, we used to, uh, yeah, try this quite a lot. So this one is something which we don't find in the Midlands that much. And it's called Red Onion, let's try it. Mm. I'm not sure what's on there. It might be, um, I think it's chili sauce. I'm not sure, I might be wrong. But it's not onions in there and it's a nice little relish. So nice crispy and uh, you know, gets you sort of going, you know, with your meal. And um, the thing I like over here is also the, the mint sauce. Let's try that one. Mm. Mint sauce, freshly made, not one of those ready-made ones that you get. So I'm so used to now these days, it's convenient. I know you guys can go out there and buy the ready-made ones. It doesn't have the same flavor or the same consistency. I don't know if you can see this one, but it's a little bit thinner than what you get in the shops. But then the taste is much better. You know, it's made with fresh yogurt. Amazing. Okay, I'm quickly gonna move on now because the food's getting cold, so let's get in quickly. So this one is the T-bone steak. So guys, this is the one I'm excited about. So I have my steaks normally medium. So let's have a look. Wow, that is cooked bang on. So that's nice, nice made medium. A bit far from the camera, so I can't show you the moment, but absolutely amazing. Let's go into this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so pleasantly surprised with this. So this one, is it's made really correctly for the start. So I've gone to some places, more Asian style places, where they will put the sauce on top of the steak. And for me, that's a big no, you know? I mean, I'm a big steak lover. I go to lots of steak houses 
and this is the way it should be done guys so this one basically is a salted steak so you have a, the taste of salt on there and nothing nothing extraordinary you know in terms of um, the spices so uh, a nice steak should be cooked in the right way and it should be a little bit you know of salt on there and that's the way I can taste it and it's cooked to perfection guys it's soft it's tender and it's cooked and it's got the right look on it so I'm enjoying this one okay now I'm also gonna try it with it comes with um, a sauce so you can choose the sauce the one I've gone for today is a traditional peppercorn sauce so let's try this one okay so this one is the peppercorn sauce let's try this mm, very strong uh, taste of pepper in that one now with the sauce I've got to say the sauce is bang on in taste but the texture is slightly thinner than I would uh, like it to be however the taste is fantastic and in comes the mocktail thank you very much for that one so I think this one's the mango mocktail let's give this a quick try as it's come fresh wow that's really refreshing I haven't asked them what kind of mangoes in there but I think that's Pakistani mango in there I can taste that very very refreshing there's a hint of lime uh, a hint of mint in there as well um, it comes with ice and nothing uh, sort of um, uh, you know they haven't added uh, things in there which are not required very very nice refreshing um, they've got ice in there as well uh, this is perfect for this kind of weather this is what you want let me just compare that now with a strawberry one as we're on the mocktails how fantastic does that look? I will look at that. So this one has a strawberry on there. And this one is a strawberry daiquiri. So let's try this one. Ooh, okay. That has something else in there. So it does have strawberry. They've added something in there. I'm, I can't put my, I can't quite um, put my finger on it. That has a little bit of, um, I'm not sure if it's mint, but it has something else added in there, which is overpowering the strawberry a little bit. So although this is one of the popular ones, for me, I mean, it's nice, but I think there's something in there which perhaps is overpowering the strawberry a little bit. But for me, this one is a perfect one. So it tastes like it's Pakistani mangoes in there, which again, is very rare. I don't see many places who actually use that. Um, so it might be seasonal this drink, I don't know, I have to ask them. Um, but actually this one is spot on for me. The right amount of sweetness, the right taste in there, that one got in. Okay, now let's move on. Um, so with this, back to the steak, um, I'm just going to check the fries for you. So the fries are going to say look of good quality, let me try that one. So nice french fries over here, they break very easily. Um, nice and soft inside and overall good quality fry they've used over here which is great to see a lot of these places I go to they'll give you fantastic burgers or steaks or whatever it might be and then they'll skimp on the things like fries and, and, and chips um, but this one over here I've got to say great quality okay I'm gonna move on now so over here we have the Boston burger let me show you this guys look it looks fantastic so brochet bun which is great to see um, they kept it together with these little pegs which is great so it doesn't fall apart and um, so I can see in there lettuce um, tomatoes and some uh, sort of a, I think it's cheese in there so you know dripping cheese with the sauce let's try it got a mouthful there a nice chunky burger and um, I like the bread, the bread is nice and soft, nice texture on it um, and a perfect, perfect sort of uh, burger. So maybe for lunch time or something like that, if you want to come, you know, just have a quick bite. Absolutely ideal, you know, um, ideal. Mm. Good quality beef there, nice quality in terms of that. I'm going to try a little bit of the coleslaw.
Costa, okay, it's standard. But the thing to go for is the burger. I like the quality, the fries with it, absolutely amazing. That's a perfect combination over there. So, let's move on now to the next one. I'm running out of space, guys, so I'm just gonna pinch the table from next door. Okay, look at this one. So this, guys, is a piece of cod. How amazing is that? So that's a masala fish they have, which is a cod. Let me have a look at this one. Actually, I'm gonna, might even use my hands for this one. Let's get my hands dirty. Okay, so let's break this one apart. Oh, look at that. Wow. Can you see that? Right, I can see nice chunky piece of cod here. I can see all of the fillets. Um, nice sort of a chunky piece. Um, lightly battered, I, I've got to say. Not overpowering, not like big thick taste. Nice light batter. Let's taste what it's like. Okay, that's a nice cod piece there. The masala is nice. It's not overpowering, not strong, um, that it overpowers the fish. Um, the right consistency, I've got to say, the right amount of masala on there. Nice crispy as well. Cooked just to the right amount. It's nice and moist, the fish. Fantastic, I like that one. So that's something I really enjoy. I like the little garnish on the side. I always love the garnishing. So this one comes with a little garnish of tomatoes and lettuce as well. Fantastic. Let's move on guys, quickly. This one is the biryani rice. So we've just seen this one cooked fresh in front of us. Let's taste what it's like. Mm. Nice and flavoursome. Cooked to perfection. And nice long grains there as well. And that tastes very much homemade. So, you know, what you would have at home, that kind of uh, taste and flavours coming from there. Nice quality of that one. I do like that one. Okay, let's try this one if it's not too hot. So this one, I'm gonna try with a bit of the naan. So this one, I think is the chicken one. Yep, yeah, that's the chicken balti we have here. Or chicken handi is it, sorry. Chicken handi is called over here. Let's try that. So nice big pieces of chicken in this, I've got to say. Try a bit of that curry. Oh, wow. That is nice. Freshly made, very tasty chicken. Very it much tastes like homemade sort of uh, curry, you know? Very tasty. Flavors are just right. The chicken is cooked to nice perfection. Very soft pieces of chicken in there. And this one has whole chicken in it, so it's not like a boneless one. I think they do a boneless option as well. Very, very nice. While we're checking the curries, let's go on to, it's not too hot. So this one here is the lamb karai. Let's see what the difference in this one is. So that one is the handi, and this one is the karai. So this one comes more in a, a hot plate sort of format, opposed to the the, the metal sort of uh, bowl it comes into. Let's try this one. Oh, so straight away, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but straight away that, you know, nice and flaky meat. The lamb is just pulling away so softly. Hmm, okay, bang on. So far, these two are my favorite things. So the, the chicken karai, uh, the chicken handi, sorry, I keep getting it wrong. Chicken handi and the lamb karai, absolutely banging. Make sure you come down and check these two out. Okay, so we're totally in the wrong order here, but let's go in with the starters now. So I'm gonna try the starter platter. So first of all, it came sizzling. And now it's got a little bit cold while we're filming here now. But it looks fantastic. Let's try now. So, I'm gonna try the kebabs. So this one looks to me as a lamb kebab. Let's see what this one's like. Okay. Good amount of um, flavoring going on in there. A lot of coriander in there, I can see. 
very nice. Probably not the best that I've had in terms of um, the kebabs, but perfectly acceptable. Let's go on to the chicken tikka. So, chicken tikka here. Ooh, let me get a whole piece for you just to show you. That looks really nice. So the charring on there looks nice, cooked to perfection. Let's try this one. So here's the chicken tikka. Mm. Chicken tikka, nice, lightly um, sort of flavored, not sort of uh, strong in terms of um, overpowering the taste, you know, a nice blend of spices in there. Soft meat, cooked very nicely. Also comes with, I think this is a chicken wing. Look at the size of it, guys. If I can get it out. Okay, this is one is the chicken wing, guys. So I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty for this one. Beautiful. I mean, that looks, that's a, that's pretty decent size as well. Let's try this one. Mm. This one has like a barbecue sort of flavor on it. I was expecting it to be spicy. That one is like a barbecue chicken wing. Really nice. Very soft, flaky meat on that one. That's the way you want it to be. Now another one of my favorites. Let's go on to the chops. So the chops to start with looks like this. Slightly oven done on one side, but let's have a look. Okay, so the meat is nice and soft. Let's go in and try this one. Hmm, flavoring is really nice. The way you want it to be. Nice and soft texture. An overall nice experience. <laughs> right guys, so we've just done uh, the mixed grill, which is great. So now I'm moving on and I'm gonna pinch another table now. <laughs> uh, I mean, the amount of food they brought out today is phenomenal. So I'm gonna go on to this one here. So let me just get the name right for you. Right, so this one is called the House Special. So this one is a mixture, stir fried noodles basically, and it comes with chicken and beef. So this one looks exciting straight away. I can see uh, lots of stuff going on in this one. So I can see onions in there. I can see spring onions, which is always a good sign. I don't see spring onions in many of these things that people make. So that's a good sign as well. Um, I can see nice pieces of chicken here and, and the beef. So let's go in and try a little bit. This is always a messy one, but let's, uh, let's see if we can try this. Mmm, straight away, really nice flavoring coming in there. Sometimes in places like this, I find that the noodles, um, a bit like boiled noodles, you know, this one, full of flavor, you know, straight away, banging, you know, flavor in your mouth, popping in your mouth. Absolutely amazing. So I, I want to try the chicken now and see what that is. I'm gonna try this individually just so I can check what the chicken and the beef are like. So let's try the chicken. Chicken again, full of flavor, nice um, flavors coming out from there. Um, marinated well. Let's check the beef now. So beef looks good as well. Mm. Again, the beef is marinated well as well. But to be honest, I think the chicken is probably the winner for me. So if I would go in this place again, um, I would probably have the, the chicken um, stir-fried noodles. Um, I think that's sufficient for this kind of dish. The way it cooks and the way it uh, comes across is a lot, lot better. But I mean, this is a mixed one, it's perfectly good. Um, I do like the beef as well. Generally, I go for beef things. But in this particular instance, I'm actually liking the flavors of the chicken a little bit more. Um, so I want to try a little bit more of that one actually. I might have to do this off camera because it's just, just so messy. Mm. Mm. The thing I didn't realize, it's actually got baby prawns in there. I'm gonna try one of those. Mm. Mm. Okay. The prawns, I think because they're small, are not as flavorsome as the, as the beef and the chicken. But definitely the chicken is outstanding. I would go for the chicken um, 
stir fry. Amazing. But the, with the beef one, the beef is nice as well if you are a beef eater. Um, really, really nice. But the noodles is actually a winner. So this is my second favorite now so far. Okay. Right guys, so I've just managed to try all of the food for you. It's way too much for me to finish, but you know, I've tried all a good variety of food over here. But I've got to say, fantastic experience in terms of quality and the presentation, all A1 um, and a good variety. I've got to say the menu, I, I love, you know, the way that they have put in all the main stuff that you want. They haven't overcomplicated things. Everything is very easy to order. Service has been great here today. They've, uh, you know, there's a selection of uh, waiters uh, around me. Uh, the manager, in fact, is even uh, about today, and he's actually done a fantastic job in bringing everything out quickly as possible. Um, everything has come out fresh. Everything has come, you know, with uh, great sort of flavors. Absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go in for some scores. I think it's that time again. Let's go. So this is my score for the quality of food today. This is my score for the level of service today. This is my score for the location. This is my score for the ambience. And this is my overall score of coming to Masaritz on Wimsor Road in Manchester. Uh, we've just changed locations now because it's extremely warm where we were and we've made a big mess on the table so i just wanted to move on the sides so over here it's a nice cozy area they've got a nice waiting area so i'm just sitting here now chilling um i wanted to little tell you a little bit about the pricing over here um so i've got to say looking at the restaurant people assume it's a very uh, expensive restaurant and it is in terms of the feel however the prices are not too bad so i'm just going to give you a few samples of the prices so we had a mixed grill and our mixed grill was only £17.50 guys. So £17.50, it, it gave me a selection of lamb chops, chicken tikka, uh, seat kebab, uh, reshmi kebab, chicken wings and also with a plow rice with it as well. So I mean that's fantastic, £17.50 guys in this day and age is not bad. The, uh, the chicken handy that we had was only £10.50. Yes, I mean that big pot of sort of, you know, chicken handy we had £10.50. The lamb curry was also £10.90. Again, not bad, you know. I think um, it doesn't say over here the quantity, but I would say that's sort of, sort of half, a, half a kg sort of um, uh, price they have over there. Um, and, and the starters are starting from £3.90, going to a maximum of £6.50, which was the masala fish. Um, so actually, the pricing is very, very reasonable. So don't just assume when you walk past that, oh, that place looks really expensive. I don't think I'll go in there. Actually, yes, it does look expensive. And yes, you might need to dress up to come over here, but the prices are very reasonable. I'm just gonna mention the steaks as well. So the chicken steak, guys, we didn't have that today, but it starts from only £14.90. Um, and the T11, the large steak that I had, now, if you'd go in a proper steak place, that would be something like 40, 50 pounds, something like that. Over here, guys, only 20 pounds 90 for that great big, you know, T-bone steak. And that comes with the sauce as well and comes with the side. Um, I've got to say the pricing is absolutely fantastic, you know, very reasonable in this day and age. I mean, things, you know, I do understand are getting expensive, but for this type of establishment where we are, um, the place is very nice, clean, tidy. It's a bit of an upmarket place that uh, they have here, but the price is very reasonable. So don't let that deter you guys. Guys, so this has been my experience at Masurits on Wimsdale Road. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's been a pleasure coming over here. And I would recommend that you guys come down here with your family and friends also. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you do smash that like button for me. If you've taken any value from, from this video at all, do consider that clicking that subscribe button. Don't forget to share with all your family and friends and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,